So just as I was recording a video for what I think the Toronto Blue Jays season, a realistic offseason could look like, one of the targets in the video got signed today by the Toronto Blue Jays. It's Kevin Kiermaier to the Toronto Blue Jays. Let's go over it. What do we think of it? What do we not think? Let's do it. So as of right now, we don't know the length of the deal yet. We don't know terms and money or anything. So that's completely aside. Let's look at it as a Toronto Blue Jays standpoint. Where does it where does it go for them? So for the Blue Jays, Kevin Kiermaier is gonna end up being the fourth outfielder come opening day. He is that like Ryan Mel Tapia, Bradley Zimmer replacement type thing. So yeah. That's where he's at. That's where he's gonna be. He's gonna be the fourth outfielder. Prop me. He's gonna play center fielder, center field a lot, and it's gonna get Springer out of center field, which I like. It's gonna get him to right field, which reduces the wear and tear on his body. So where do the Blue Jays go from here? The Blue Jays still need that Teoscar Hernandez replacement. Now there's a few options. Um, like there's all, like there's still a few options. They can go on a trade route, maybe an Alec Thomas. I know uh, Arizona's kind of ca interested in catching, I think. And the Blue Jays have interest in Arizona's um, center fielders. So theirs could be an option. You could look at it. The other option to me really is Michael Conforto. I think those are the only two options left for the Blue Jays. What they do, I don't know. But overall for the Blue Jays, getting Kevin Kiermaier, I personally, I don't like Kevin Kiermaier. I'm not a huge fan of him, but... For the Blue Jays' positional needs and what the Blue Jays need, biased aside, this is a fantastic deal. Depending on the length. We don't know the length yet, and that's the issue. Because that's the only issue right now is Hassan hasn't tweeted it. A lot of people have tweeted it. Um, it's happening. There's no way. They're both, like, Ben Nicholson-Smith, Shai Davidi, they've both reported it. Now John Heyman, oh, I don't know if we trust John Heyman, has also reported it now mark feinstein's also reported it so it's a it's happening we're just waiting on the length to be announced i expect that to be announced within the next 20 minutes so that'll be good for the blue jays standpoint this is great you get probably a better fourth outfielder than what we had last year and depending on the money potentially cheaper as well which means you can look at getting a conforto or a benintendi or a alec thomas now, if you're going to trade her up for Alec Thomas, you're probably going to have to give up Jansen, which means the starting pitching front, you're going to have to look at free agency. I'd like to get the outfield done via free agency and work on the rotation through trades. I think that's good. Um, so, yeah. Uh, we know the Dodgers made a strong push for the for Kevin Kiermaier, who was apparently the top target in center field. He came down to two teams. Kiermaier, who lives in Tampa, elected to stay in the AL East. Uh, I can throw that tweet up right now. So, yeah. We know that it came down to two. He chose Toronto potentially over Dodge, LA. Depends on how much money um, the Dodgers offered him compared to the Blue Jays. I'm expecting, personally, I'm expecting a one-year deal worth about $10 million, I would say, with a option for year two. Like a player option for year two and maybe a club option for year three or a club option for year two and like maybe a player option for year three uh, and then like bring it to like a three or 30 in total. Um, ben Nicholson Smith reporting that this penny move would shift George Springer to right field more often. I expect Springer to continue facing or factoring into tr the J center field mix, but this move likely means more of it starts coming right field for 2023. Springer said to be recovering well from the collision with Bobochet in the traumatic wild card game two. So yeah, I think that's good, but I want I want an everyday center field because I really just don't want Springer in center field anymore. I feel like right field's a great place to go for him. He won't be hurt as much, or he won't get hurt as much. So yeah, we are gonna wait for the money to come out. But right now I'm giving this about a B plus for Toronto. It's a good signing. It is really good signing. So we're gonna wait when the announcement comes we will catch it up okay well it's been well over an hour since kier meyer signed we still have nothing on the contract details and i gotta go and do stuff so i'm just gonna leave the videos this is um follow my twitter blue jays or baseball domain 
um, it'll be in the description, you will see my reaction to the contract details when they inevitably come out by the end of the off season. But yeah, hey guys for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe if you guys are brand new to the channel, and we'll catch you on the next one. And hopefully it's a good signing for Jay's next too. Woo!